I can't wait to get started and like I know. really do a deep dive into this and talk about it because if you guys didn't know, there's a new feature. Cricket came out with a new feature last night, Design Space. Surprise! Surprise! Tanner sent us a link at like, I don't know what time it was. It was very late. I was actually in Design Space last night when he sent it. I never craft at home. I know. And I was making a bunch of little paper candy Grinches and I was like, mm, I'm going to get in Design Space and see what this is about. So, I mean, I think it's pretty cool. We can share our opinions when we get into it. We will for sure share our opinions. But yeah, should we like get into it? Because I feel like there's a lot of sticker tips and tricks and hacks, if you will. So yes. let's show them. Let's, let's do it. Let's go ahead and talk about this new update. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number one, you do have to be on a desktop. We said that a while ago. Um, so you have to be on a desktop to use this. Um, if you don't have a desktop, we were reading that there is possibility that this will be rolled out later on for iPad and phone users. But right now it is just strictly limited to the desktop um, and it is in beta version. So what is beta version? Let's talk about what beta version is, what that means. Beta version is like the second level of testing. There is alpha version and then there's beta version and then there's live. So alpha is like in-house, working on it, just at the Cricut, like just people that work in Cricut have, know about it. And then once they feel like it's ready to come, semi come to market, then it goes into beta version. Beta version is like, hey, we're putting this out there. We wanna know if there are any glitches, use it, tell us what you think, let us fix the bugs. Yes. That is beta version. And then from beta version, it will then jump over to live version, meaning that it is absolutely 100% ready to go. It's there, okay? Mm -hmm. So di if you didn't know, did you know that you can switch back and forth between live and beta version in Cricut Design Space? If you didn't, I'm here to teach you exactly how to do that. So just hold up. We're going to do that. I'm going to teach you how to, yes, desktop and when I say desktop, I'm meaning a computer, laptop or desktop. Yes. That's the same thing. Um, but anyway, I'm going to teach you how to go from live to beta version. If you've never done that before, we are going to, I'm going to teach you how to um, update your design space. If you think you need to update to a newer version, I'm going to show you where you can go to find that and update. And then we'll just kind of look around in settings, play around a little bit. Um, and I'll show you a couple different things. And then we're going to jump into the sticker making the, what, explain, what is it again? The create, create sticker. sticker. I don't That's know. It. I don't, I don't love that. I don't love the name. Create sticker. Yeah. It's I like, I like a noun. They're like using it as a noun. The create sticker function. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not a fan, but you know, I don't work for we Cricut. Don't, <laughs> we don't get to make that stuff up. So. Yeah. I don't work for Cricut. So anyway. <laughs> Anyway, so let's go ahead and jump over to our share screen. And we'll do this later. Here is where we're gonna start on our home tab, okay? So to find out whether you are in live or beta version, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here to your settings or your actual, your, like your profile area. And then you hit that arrow down and then you're gonna scroll down to here where it says settings, okay? So, we're going to click on settings and here you're going to see general machines canvas all of this different stuff in stuff in settings okay so to go back and forth between live and beta you can see here three down it says application experience okay at application experience you are going to see you can see here currently we are in the live version and I'll show you, because we're in live version, there is nothing up here that says create sticker, okay? Nothing there. So let's go back to our settings and we are going to click from live to beta, okay? Now, it's not gonna do anything when you just click beta. What you have to do is after you click beta, you then have to select done. So now you see it has closed Design Space out. 
we are reloading and then I'm going to show you guys where you're going to be able to find this. Yes. Um, does this feature include the Joy Original? Unfortunately, no, it does not because the Joy Original does not have print and cut features. Right. So you're not going to be able to use it on a Joy. You're probably going to be able to play around with it, but you you're not going to be able to cut because the original Joy does not have... Um, print and cut features. Okay? And anybody, any of y'all can get in there and play around with Absolutely. this, but you're not going to be able to actually go to the make it screen where you cut it and stuff. Right. So, so now we can go to new project and you can see here, let's just upload a random PNG. There's a good one. Add it to canvas. So now you can see here we have the create sticker function. Y'all, yes. that's it. So we go from live to beta and that's where your create sticker function is going to show up right here, right smack dab in the middle. Okay. And all you have to do is upload a PNG. This is one of our um, new PNGs on our website that I love. Look. Clearly, it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. Clearly. <laughs> Mine's on my table. I Actually, now I just realized I have two two water cups. I have Show three them cups. your fancy new water cup. I love oh. it. Isn't it pretty? It's matte to it's gloss. It's matte, matte to shiny. I love well, they I got it with vinyl. my rewards. They Let's need to make vinyl that is matte to gloss. <gasps> they for sure need to make a matte to shiny vinyl. Yes. I think that that should be, if we ever have a vinyl line, yes. add it to the list. If matte you, to gloss. Absolutely. A hundred percent. Okay. So anyway, what we're going to do, I'm going to size this up a little bit. Um, yeah, it's a little big. It's, I get it. There we go. Fine. So just so we can see it, now the create sticker function, I'm gonna click the arrow pointing down and I'm gonna move this over so that we can play around with it. Also, did you know that you can move move these boxes? I so love like, that. So like if I click off of it, every time I click back, it's just gonna pop up down here away from everything or you can move it over here. It's very I, helpful. It's very, very helpful. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, we're going to check it out. So once you click that arrow pointing down on the create sticker, there are a couple different options for you. So we will start out with the die cut option. So what die cut means is die cut means it cuts all the way through the material to the back, through the backer, okay? So that is cutting all the way through the backer so that you have a sticker that cuts out like this. These are all die cut stickers because they're not on one page, okay? These are all die cut stickers. It's not like a sheet of stickers. Right, it's not a sheet of stickers. Annette, yes, you do have to have Cricut access, but if you'll stick around with me, I'm gonna show you um, how we can do this without even having to do, without even having to have Cricut access, okay? So die cut, let's click on die cut. What that does is that is going, that shows you once you click die cut, it just, it gives you a sticker, like it's cutting all the way around. Now this, it does go ahead and fill in the interior shapes. So you can toggle back and forth if you want that interior shape cut or if you don't. I like that feature, mm -hmm. pretty nice. Yeah, it is. Um, you can also add a border if you want to. So you can do thin and then you can change your border color. You can do standard, wide, and then you have your custom. Okay. Y'all, can I just be real honest with you? Do you want to know what that is? That's just your offset feature. It's literally. It's literally just your offset feature. It's like people, uh, in my brain, like at Cricut, people were complaining that they didn't know how to easily make stickers and they were trying to say like, use the offset, use the offset. And they were like, you know what, forget it. Let's just, Let's just add a button. Right. But it's the same thing. Yes. It's, it's the same It's thing. literally the exact same thing as offset. The only difference is you don't have to go back through and flatten. Yeah, like it, it just skips that flatten step It skips step for the you. flatten step, mm -hmm. um, and that's it. 
I think that, they're just trying it. to like help out customer I service. Do. I think it's I think it's a customer service thing. I think mm -hmm. they're trying to simplify it, and I appreciate that. Yeah, I really do appreciate the fact that um, it is. Yeah, I mean, it's not as customizable as Offset. Megan brought that up. It is still, I mean, you can still, you know, contour or leave. You can do your colors here, type in your codes, whatever. Like, it's still possible to do all of this. Um, but, you know, it's, it's an option. So, that's your border fill color. You can add as many or as not. Um... Yes, it's like I just said, it's offset without needing to flatten. Um, we wouldn't need to necessarily slice, but yes, the, all it is is offset without having to flatten. Mm -hmm. Here is back to your thin. So if we go back that and then once we hit apply, there you go. You go to make it. Um, I don't know why. That's a new, that's an This update. is a new feature. Yeah. I'm not really a fan of it right now. I... I don't hate it, but I'm really good about saving my projects. I've like gotten a habit of it, right. but I think it's really helpful for people when they make something and they go straight to make it and then the something messes up on their machine and they have to close out Cricut. I get this that. This is helping them remember what? to save. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. get yeah. I get that. I get that. So, and I mean, that's it. That's it for, for die cut. Now, one thing I will say. Let's go back here. We're gonna to go to edit sticker. You can actually undo this. You're back to your original PNG. I do love that. I do like that. Mm -hmm. It does make it easy. Um, now let's go to kiss cut. So kiss cut is just cutting through your printable material and then leaving the liner intact. So that's meaning if you want to do a sheet of stickers, let's say you're making a, I don't know, a sheet of stickers for your cl a classroom or for your child or whoever, it doesn't matter. Let's just say you want a full sheet of stickers, but you want it to remain on the sheet because you just want to hand them the sheet. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's what a kiss cut is. It just cuts through your first layer of material and not your backer, okay? Carol says, yes, but still Cricut should not make it available to access members. I get where you're coming from, I really do, um, but Access is how Cricut makes their money. So as a company, it makes sense for them as a company. As a consumer, it does get a little frustrating. Mm -hmm. I 100% understand. But we can do this without having access. Right. You can do this without having access. We don't need the Create Sticker to necessarily yeah. make Create Stickers. No, <laughs> you do not need the Create Sticker function. We're just showing it to you talking about it, pros and cons. Mm -hmm. We'll let you make your decision um, after the fact. And like we've said before, the biggest thing about Cricut Access that, I don't wanna say bothers me, but it's just like, uh, it's kinda like a knife to the gut, is the fact that if you create things using Cricut Access, fonts, cut files, features, whatever, if you decide later down the road that you know, I'm not using my Cricut as much. I don't want Cricut access anymore. Right. You lose access. You literally lose access to all of that stuff that you created using those fonts, files, features. Like no matter how long it took you, it doesn't no matter. No matter how long. It's gone. Once you get rid of Cricut access, you get rid of those projects. Yep. And that's very much so like Audible. I am obsessed <laughs> with Audible and listening to books, but did you not know that if you no longer want Audible subscription, you lose access to all the books you purchased. What? Yes. No, that's not okay. It's not okay. Just like with Cricut Access, if you have created something, I don't feel like it's okay later on down the road that you don't have access to it anymore. So it would make sense to me if they took access away and didn't allow you access to the free images they offered. But if you purchase an image on Cricut Access, you should have 100% access to that file 100% of the time. You should, absolutely. But you don't. Absolutely, you should. Yeah. So the good part about it though, and yeah, I am gonna be that person and I am gonna plug our membership because I'm gonna teach you how you can do this without having Cricut access. And did you know that if you use one of our files and you decide two years down the road, because I think you're gonna stay with us for a while because you're, we, we continually 
making new things, creating new things, giving you new stuff. Those files, once you download them, they're yours. We don't take them back. We don't say, you can't use that anymore. That's mm -hmm. not us. That's not our motto. That's not how we work here. Now, you may lose co commercial license. You are going to use co lose commercial license if you are not a member. But right. as long as you say a member, you have commercial license to sell mm -hmm. your projects. But it's one of those things, like, you still have personal use. You can still use it if you yeah. really need to. For your all own crafty needs. So, anyway... Yes, it is. It is kind of shady. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, but but Period. that's that's the thing is here at Makers Gonna Learn, we don't like it, so we're not gonna be that. Right. We're gonna be the complete opposite. Once you download it, there you go. Mm -hmm. It's yours. So anyway, we're gonna go back. Let's talk about the Kiss Cut. So like I said, the Kiss Cut cuts through the material on the top leaving the backer. So if you select Kiss Cut, same thing. It's going to pop up just like this. You can toggle on or off your interior shape. You want it on, you want it off, whatever. Um, you can add your border. Then standard, we'll leave it at standard and we'll change it to, you know, something different so you can see, okay? So that's our border feel on a standard with a kiss cut. Now, one thing I do like about this, this is probably my favorite feature. If you do have Cricut access and you plan on keeping it, this is probably my favorite feature is having the die cut edge, okay? So you can toggle that on and you can see, and I wanna zoom in, so, oh no. Let's do that again, okay. Kiss cut. We're gonna do a standard border. Let's change the color to something cooler than that. Let's go a little blue with it. Uh, too much blue, let's go back a little. Green. I have a question here okay. in a second. Okay, so border fill, you can see this. Um, I wanna toggle this interior shape out, okay? And then let's say I wanna turn the die cut edge on. So do y'all see where it has two edges? Yes. Okay, so if I hit apply, um, Corinne. Corinne's here. First of all, thanks for joining us. Um, second of all, you are a hundred percent correct. Mm -hmm. As a Cricut user and a Cricut owner, this is not the update that we wanted. Is it nice? It's okay. It's okay. It makes it simple. I feel like it does make it simpler, especially for our new Cricut users. Absolutely. But you're right. This is not what we ask for. This is not what we want. Like if there was a list of five things, it's not on my top five. No, it's not. <laughs> or like anybody else's maybe. Maybe but it not, was on your top five. I'm but sorry. I'm not hating it. No. A hundred percent. Like I'm not. I'm not. They're <laughs> working hard to update things for us. And I see and appreciate that. But I think there's there's just a lot of other things we could have done. Mm, yeah. You know, you know, whatever. I digress. I digress. <laughs> so anyway, what you see the double edges here. What this is going to do is it's going to kiss cut this. Okay. And then it's going to actually cut through the backer here. So you gives you an easy peel sticker. But y'all, we can do this ourselves. Mm -hmm. We can do it ourselves. Oh, so. let me ask the question before you carry on to show them how to do it yourself. Okay. What would happen if you do like three kiss cut stickers and three die cut stickers on one print then cut sheet? I want to know. It would do the same. It would do. So it would cut all the way through on the three and mm -hmm. then it would not cut all the way through on the other ones? Yes. Really? Yeah, I would think so. Because like. Do you see what I'm saying? Because yeah, well, you just pick your cut settings whenever you go to the cut settings. Well, I think what it's doing is it will work with um, this and then it's Like it's going programmed to know what the cut settings. Yes. But I want to know. I want to know. I get it. I get okay. it. Well, maybe we'll have to play around with it later. Because I want to know. Like, I, I just, you can't normally do more than one type of cut on a mat. Do you know what I'm saying? No, I get it. So well, I was, it's just like how I'm fixing to show them. It's like tripling up the cuts to get it all the way through. Right. On the same pressure. Yeah, that's what. So I would think that would be what it would do. That's kind of what I'm thinking too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Food for thought. Okay. Christine asked a really good question. What's the difference between easy peel sticker and a kiss cut? So a kiss cut is just going to, it's kind of like that, that, 
the fine point blade barely touches the top layer of the sticker paper, but it doesn't cut through that backer. That is a kiss cut. It's like kissing up against the, the, um, the material. The easy peel is going to give you an edge. And I'm going to show you how to do an easy peel sticker too. Um, this is going to give you an edge to like, if I wanted to do, give a sticker like this and we'll go overhead. This sticker doesn't necessarily, it's not the easiest to peel because I have to get in between that sticker paper and the backer. So what an easy peel sticker does is it cuts another offset that is, is the backer. So you can just grab it and peel it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's more of like a sellable sticker feature, like something uh, you'd make when you sell stickers. Yes. Yes. So an easy peel sticker is going to be, if you sell stickers or you give them, um, or you give them to people, that's going to be like an easy, if you do like one off stickers, that's going to be what you need easy peel stickers for. So let's, let's talk about the difference. Die cut sticker is this cutting all the way through with the backer still attached, but no edge on it. Okay. This is a die cut sticker. A kiss cut sticker is if we had a full sheet of these and all of these stickers were still on the backer. Okay. And then an easy peel is going to have an edge and we're going to do kiss cut. I already have the die cut here. This is just your standard die cut sticker. We are going to do a couple kiss cut and a couple die cut stickers on one page. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Okay. So, um, Sarah asks, is a max print and cut size change with the new update? So they actually updated the max print and cut size, um, a couple months ago, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. And you can act, you can go, well, so let's go to our settings and I'll show you if you go to, no, no, load type. Okay. Print and cut page size. Ours automatically right now in our settings reverts to A3, which is 11.7 by 16. And you can see here, these are all of this, the sizes that you can print with print and cut feature now. So you can do an 11 by 17, um, which is larger than what we did. You can do, which we already had eight and a half by 11 and eight and a half by 14 before. Um, but you can do A3 and tabloid now, just so you know. I'm actually, while I'm in here, gonna change this to eight and a half by 11 because that's gonna be our standard sticker paper, mm -hmm. okay? Um, I'm gonna change this because we are using the Joy Extra today and you, it, I didn't plug this bad boy oh, up. Oh, let me get you some cords. Where cool. are the cords? Um, I, probably out here, oh, sorry. Right, probably right. out here in this little drawer. We just randomly decided to use the extra. I know. Cause Wait, I've got, a, I've got one here. Let's see if it fits. Nope. It doesn't. Okay. What color is that one you just tried? Uh, black. Yeah, I think it has a special cord because it's not fitting the black or the white. Okay. So what we're going to do, I'm going to come back. Let's go back to our share screen real quick. I'm going to undo this sticker and we are going to build stickers together. Okay. And we're going to show you guys how to do this without having the create sticker function. No, April, this does not only work with the Joy Extra machine. We literally, is that the right one? I don't know. Plug it in and see what happens. Plug it in, plug, plug it in. Oh my gosh, do they still do that? I don't know. Is that for Breeze? <laughs> <gasps> Look, it came on. Oh. Magic. Magic's happening. Okay, beautiful. Um, yes, we found the cord or one that fits at least. Anyway, okay. So we are going to do a couple kiss cut stickers and then I'm going to show you how to do uh, easy peel stickers. Now, so first thing, um, would kiss cut work on a laminated sheet too, like a waterproof paper? So if you're putting your waterproof paper over top of your sticker sheet, uh, it's really going to depend on the material that you use. I know that like Starcraft has their own waterproof sticker paper. There's lots of different brands out They're there. They're kind of thick, so they you're going to need extra thick. cuts. They are thick, so I would probably, I don't know. 
Like it really, it's you're gonna have to play around with your material, especially with these new settings that Cricut came out with when they came out when they reintroduced us to their sticker paper. Um, their settings changed, mm -hmm. and like the setting that I used to use on sticker paper, like I can't use it anymore. So anyway, back to our share screen. Let's start with our stickers. So I'm gonna go ahead um, and see if we let's go to our website first of all. Let's go to Print and Cut. And let's just see some of our files and we'll just use some of our, I don't want to do like 10 Stanley's. First of all, I'm obsessed with this Marion Bright. Like, I don't know why this wasn't there before Christmas. I would have used it so many times. Mm -hmm. It's cute. Um, well, because we did giving, Christmas so early. It's giving mid-century modern. It's giving like, I'm obsessed. Yeah, I love it. Uh, but first of all, I love this Lucky You. We're gonna download that. We're gonna use that one. I almost used that today. And there's another Ooh. one and it's a, it's cherries and they're dice. And it was giving me like that kind of vibe. The same as the Lucky You. Right. I love our Valentine's vibe. That one's going on my computer as yes. one of my stickers. That's cute. Um, You're like, the Yee to my haul. I like the Yee to my haul too. <laughs> <laughs> so um, cute. Let's see, I want another one that I want to put on my, because y'all, you all know, um, my stick, my computer is bare now. I had to change, I had to get a new um, case, case, and now I have no stickers. Except for your I Love Weirdos one. Except for my I Love Weirdos, you are right. I don't want a Merry Christmas one on there, but I mean, the chicken, I'm not a chicken whisperer. <laughs> <laughs> um... I think all of these, are like the Valentine's ones, are so cute. I know. I need to make Rubes in Georgia some little Valentine's shirts. Why was this not out sooner? I don't know. I love ah, it. You better believe next Christmas you'll be seeing me making something with these files. Yeah, we love some mid-century modern Christmas. It's so funny that you love mid-century modern, but you like, we were talking about colored lights and twinkle lights. Uh, that's, I know. I, I, if you, you would think if as much as I love mid-century modern, like you would think that I would love the color lights, but it's just, I don't know. I know. I get it. I mean, you can like what you want to be liking, you know? Anyway, these are some really cool print and cut files. I feel like we just keep scrolling and I'm just like, I don't know. We have a lot of really good, like our print and cut game has been stepped up if I'm being really honest with mm -hmm. you guys. I feel like it's like on another level right now. Right. Um, so there's a lot of really cool options. And like those watercolor ones, y'all have been going crazy. Y'all love the, the watercolor cow, ones. Oh my gosh. This Christmas tree. I love it. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. I'm just not. Nothing's like, I, tickling no, your it's fancy. No, not, it's not that it's not, because they are. Like, I like them. They're super cute. But, like, I'm very weird. Like, I have to love, love a sticker to put it on my laptop. Is that weird of me? No, I feel you. I, I have to love it. Like, I haven't put any. All of mine are, I feel like we could do it like a museum. I know. Most of mine are, um... The marble the background is super cute and is very useful for yes. like cutting out a shape that you want or even with sublimation. <gasps> yes. That marble background is everything. And y'all can use those. The print and cut files are really good to use also for sublimation. Very much so. Okay, you know what? We're just going to do the Stanley and the Lucky You just because that's just what I'm doing. So I'm going to download or I'm shoot. I didn't. I did not unzip, y'all. What am I doing? Oh, no. Oh, okay. Let's Unzipper. go back. So I'm going to cancel browse. I'm going to go back to my finder here. Lucky you. Pop in there. Come on, Cricket. Oh, I need to cancel this. Okay. Um, complex, just because. Continue. Um, apply and continue, and we want to do the print and cut image. Upload. And we are going to select that, add it to Canvas. Probably going to, oh, I knew it. I said, probably going to come in pretty big. Pretty big. It's a big one. She's a big one. <laughs> okay, I don't want it like super big on my laptop, but I think like that would be a good size. Yeah. 
And we'll size this one. Oh, <gasps> oh <gasps> cardinal Lord. sin. Cardinal sin. Oh, you know what? I meant to get on to you about something. What? That um, that print and cut project that you did with the sticky notes, and there was a floral hexagon. That was not that bad. <laughs> Excuse you, that was not bad. <laughs> Tanner was like, and then you're going to shrink it? And I was like, Lauren did not make that project. <laughs> she would never warp a PNG I file. I did. I did. It, did, but it, it looked bad. good. No, it did not okay. look bad. It didn't, and I said, I said that, but I was like, I cannot believe she even did that. Okay, so <laughs> we're just going to do, we'll do two of each. How's that sound? Perfect. So we'll put these two over here to this side. These are going to be our easy pill stickers. These are gonna be our um, kiss cut stickers, okay? So we'll zoom in. Really and truly, if you just wanted to print them out like this, like these two would be good to go. Mm -hmm. If you just wanted to do a kiss cut and no, um, offset or anything these will be these are good to go okay now I want to show you how to do an offset though so that you know what you're doing because the create sticker function does do an offset it leaves out the flattened portion so we're gonna do a offset on this one together okay so if you want an edge on your sticker what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to offset now, 0.25 on this small of a design is going to be pretty large. So you can toggle this back and forth using that slide. If I'm gonna be real honest, y'all, I don't much care for the slide. I like typing in my numbers. So a lot of times I'll start with a 0.1 and see how small or how large it is, and then either go up or down from there, okay? Um, now, what we're going to do is we're going to select apply. From here, you can see the offset is over here. Now you can go to our color section here and you can play around with your colors, just like we did in the create sticker function. So you can make it whatever color you want, okay? I really like that color for some reason with that. Mm -hmm. It's giving. That's cute. I really like it. Um, Lorraine has a good question, um, and this could be a whole video, but yes. Um, don't we have a video where you like get a hex code? You teach them how to get hex codes off of PNGs. Mm -hmm. This is like a side note. Mm -hmm. um, but you could totally add a square over that Stanley Cup and use change the color of it to the hex code right. of the color of the cup. Lorraine. You can. Can you contour out the words? No. No. You cannot contour a PNG file. No. So a print and cut or a PNG file cannot be contoured. Let me show you a great example. For this cup specifically, if I wanted to contour out this middle and I wanted to have it solid, I go over here and I click it, the contour feature is not there. The reason being is because if you look up here at your operations, it says print, then cut, okay? You cannot contour a print and cut or a PNG image. Now, if you do want to contour that out, I'm actually gonna go in here to advance and I'm gonna write down this hex code because I don't wanna lose it because when I change it from a um, print and cut to an actual cut file, it's going to change your color. So, and I really like that color and I wanna keep it the same. I also got the hex code for the blue tumbler. Oh, did you? Yeah, because I was I just was looking okay. after Lorraine asked. That's fine. Well, I can show them in a little bit. Okay. I want to we want I want to stick on our stay with our um, kiss cut and our easy peel yeah. stickers right now because I think that's the biggest portion that we need to kind of talk about. But yes. we can show you how you can kind of manipulate. Um, so. If you change it, because it says print and cut, it says up here in operations it's print and cut. If you change it to basic, it's going to revert back to the gray. Um, and then with it being selected, you can come down here to contour and we can contour out all of those inside pieces. Y'all, that is the exact same thing as if I were to take this, 
Watch, create sticker, we want a die cut, we want a standard border, and we're gonna change it, let's change it to the gray, like the other one. Do you all see this? It's the exact same. Yep. Okay, the only difference is before, you can toggle on and off, let's go back from standard to thin. So you can toggle on and off that inside thing, which is exactly what we just did with the contour of the offset. That is all it is. It is a contour, this toggle contours that offset. Okay, do you see that? Mm. So we've already done that here without having to use the create sticker function. So if you decide later on, before you flatten it, if you decide, nah, you know what, I really want that inside to be cut, I'm just gonna come in here, deselect it, and it's back, okay? Now, we are gonna change this offset color back to, the, what, back to what I had a while ago, which is here, not that. Beautiful. And from here, what you need to do is select both of these layers so you can see we have our Stanley Cup and our offset selected. Now to make it a sticker, what we're gonna do is go to flatten. And that's it. If that is the same. So easy. That is the exact same as you coming to create sticker, die cut, adding a border, toggling that interior shape off, and customizing your color. Love it. The exact same. Okay, and then you apply. The only difference is it's not, we don't have to hit that flatten because it was just the create sticker function. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back, undo that, bring it over here. I have another question when you're ready. <laughs> okay, what's your other question? These are just questions that are popping into my brain. I don't normally do this, but um, what would happen if we pull an SVG in and try to use this create sticker function? Do we need to flatten it first? Can you just add, can you turn an SVG into a sticker and it'll just automatically do it for you? I'm just curious what would happen. I don't know. So that's an SVG. It just does it for you? It just does it for you. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. It just does it for oh. you. Okay. I was curious because, like, you know, if you use an SVG, you've got to flatten it and then add the offset normally. Yeah, so but. it's this, it's the same process. Yeah. As it's just all that create sticker function is, all it's doing is creating an offset or, or taking out the flatten portion that yes, you have to do. Literally, that's it. That's it. That is literally it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now if I wanted to add, so, that we're, let's just, these are, we said these were kiss cut, right? These are gonna be our kiss cut stickers. Mm -hmm. Now, if we want to add an easy peel, okay? For this specific one, I don't wanna add an offset. I like, I like this. I don't want there to be an offset. I just want it to cut around the pink, okay? But if I want it to have a kiss cut, here's what you need to do. And I'm going to do it on this one because it's a lot simpler. And then we're gonna do it again on the Stanley so that we get it in our head exactly how to do it because this is a process, a little bit more of a process. So if you are doing other things, if you are not really paying attention and you really wanna learn how to do easy pill stickers, I need you to come back to me, close out of your tabs because this is where you're gonna to wanna to take notes. You're probably gonna to have to rewatch this video, so just stick with me. You're gonna have questions, and that's gonna be amazing, okay? So let me go through the process one time with you, and then we'll answer your questions, okay? So to create an easy peel sticker, but still have a kiss cut, what has to happen is the machine has to just kiss cut this portion here, and then it has to cut through another layer here but you can't change your settings in the middle of a cut. So here is the workaround for doing easy peel stickers. We have our PNG or our sticker that we want selected, okay? 
We are then going to come to our offset. Now, this is just going to determine how large of an easy peel you want. If you want it that big, great. We'll just leave it at that so everybody can see it. So we're just going to hit apply, okay? And I'm actually going to turn it from black to white because I do not want it to print. And I'm going to make sure that it is on the basic cut function, okay? Once again, turning it back to white and I'll actually change our background, our canvas color, so that you all can see this a lot better. Okay, so we have our sticker here, and we have our offset in a basic cut. Now, a kiss cut, which is the setting that we're gonna use, has very light pressure. So to cut through the backer, it has to have multiple passes. So what we're gonna do with this offset that is a basic cut, function, we are going to duplicate it, not once, but two other times. So now we have three, you can see here, and we're going to, I'm going to send it to back. I don't want to, I want to zoom in. We're going to send it all the way to the back. So you can see here, we have one, two, three basic cut functions. We'll move this one back too. You see them here on our layers panel? Is everybody with me? Yes. We have three basic cut offsets to our sticker on this in the center. Now what you need to do, select them all. There are four layers that we have selected, the three basic cuts and our sticker. What we are going to do, we are going to align them center. And now you can't see all three layers, but they are there. After you have done that, remember guys, stick with me. After you have layered your three offset basic cuts, you are going to click attach. And now you will have a kiss cut or an easy peel sticker. That was great. Good job. It's a lot. It is a lot, <laughs> but I want to show you once we go to cut it, how much, e like how it looks. And I really think you all are going to be like, oh my gosh. It's going to click It's so gonna click. hard. It, I promise you it's going to mm -hmm. click, okay? So let's do it again on our Stanley, except this time I actually want to have an offset. So I want to do the same offset as I have over here. I want to have that same offset because I just really like that color. Okay, so now what we want to do is we, if you do want to add an offset, okay, I don't want to add a 0.25 offset. I want to add a 0.1 offset. That'll be good. We're going to apply that 0.1 offset, okay. Remember, I want it to be, let's see. We don't want, I don't want to contour this out. I actually want to leave that open. So it's okay that it is a print and cut right now. You're going to change the color. We're changing it to that color that I like. And now you're going to select them both and we're going to go ahead and flatten them together. Okay. So we have our sticker. I could have really, really, I could have duplicated this one over on the left hand side, but we just did it together. So now that it's flattened together, what we're going to do, we're going to add another offset. Okay, once again, this is just going to be determined how large or how small you want your easy peel layer to be. We'll go ahead and bump it up to 0.15 and we're going to hit apply. Okay, remember it needs to be a basic cut. So let's change it to basic cut. Now, one thing that you do need to do before, especially with this one specifically, okay, Let's look at, if you can see over here, actually, let's move this guy. So if I left it like this, it's going to cut out the middle of this cup. We don't want that. So you need to make sure that your offset is just the outside. So I highly suggest once you add your second offset for your easy peel sticker to come down to contour and hide all your contours. Okay, this is going to allow it to just be 
outside your sticker. That is so strange. It is strange, Why? and I think it's because I did an offset to an offset. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So yes, if I did the why. big offset first and then an inset, mm -hmm. it wouldn't have done it, yeah. but it's an offset to an offset. That's so that's why, why it did that. So once again, we're changing it to white because we don't want there to be any color, okay? Um, this is not different. It's just, you. I just want to make sure this was a simple one. So it wasn't going to have anything on the inside that was cut out. This was a more complicated one. So you need to, if you're doing the easy peel stickers, when you are doing your actual easy peel layer, you just need to make sure that that offset or that basic cut is solid on the middle. Okay. So once again, this outside is what's going to be cut away from the backer. So remember, because we're doing a kiss cut, we want it, we want our sticker paper to stay on the backer. We need more passes. So we're going to duplicate it and make sure we have three. So one, two, three, and we're going to select them all. We will send them all to back so that it's behind this. So we have one, two, three, and then we have our sticker. We're gonna select them all, align, center, okay? So we have our three basic cuts in our print and cut, and then we're going to attach. Slay. So we have two <laughs> easy peel stickers, and we have two kiss cut stickers. Okay. And we're going to cut them on the same sheet. And we're going to cut them on the same sheet. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to go to make it. You can see here they're on the same sheet. Let's go ahead and put our easy peel down here and let's put our kiss cut up here together. Okay. So you all can see which ones are easy peel and which ones are not. Yeah. Cause These are going to be one. kiss cut. These are going to be easy peel. Okay. Now what I want to do is click continue. We are going to send this. Have we used the Joy Extra? Yes, I used it this? for a sticker video. Okay. We're going to send it to our printer. I am going to add the bleed because I don't want any white showing on this. And I am going to use System Dialog. Okay. Then I'm going to select Print. It always pops up behind here for me. We are feeding from rear tray, changing it to photo paper, and printing it on best. And then print. For those of you that are new to our channel, our favorite sticker paper that we absolutely love is the Zakoto brand from Amazon. Um, we're doing it on matte paper today. That's probably my favorite sticker paper that I use. I'm not saying I don't like glossy because I do like the glossy. There's just a time and place for glossy stickers and matte stickers. Matt's just my favorite. And yes, Janice, you can rewatch, take all the notes that you want. Watch these videos five, six, seven, 20 times over, okay? So, when printing, oh, that. The colors are different, yeah. They look good, but they're not right. And I think it's that printer. I think the color settings need to be played with, because, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not ugly, but it's not what it's I want. It's not wanted. right, yeah. Anyway. I Please excuse our printer. We need to work on it. Whoa. Speaking of printers, mm -hmm. um, I took that 9500 home that we broke during a master class. Don't tell me Trey fixed it. Well, so he unclogged it like it was no problem. He was of like, it's fine. Of course he did. And so last night I said I was working on Cricut stuff and he was like trying to fix that printer beside me. Uh -huh. And he was like, send something to the printer. Well, it'll go through, but it won't actually print anything. Like, But the paper will go through. So I think we're like this close to fixing it. Mm. I'm like, how do you just know how to fix stuff? That's gonna be awesome. I, I don't understand. Okay, so we have it loaded on our Joy Extra mat. The material, the the material that we're gonna be using is we are going to use the printable sticker paper white green green, green. liner liner paper. Okay, printable sticker paper white with the green. Guys, there is one that says gray. Do not get confused with gray and green. Okay? Green. Green. We want the green. Okay. Using it on default pressure. Loading it into our machine. 
I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm a little nervy. Just a tad bit nervy. No, I've, it looks fine. It's gonna I have be fine. not. I've not used this for stickers. No, I haven't. You oh, have. No, it's okay. You'll be fine. You can do it. Okay. Oh, go. Click go. Yeah, because there's no buttons on the extra. There are zero buttons on this machine. I was like, <laughs> where's it at? There's not even an on button. There's no buttons. It's crazy. Becky says, I watched the puffy shirt video 10 times before I made the shirt. It turned out great, though. Do Same. what you got to do, Becky. You do you. Do, you do you. And mm -hmm. sometimes that means watching a video 20 times before you get the confidence to do it. Yep. Because I feel like a lot of us here are the same. We don't like to waste. We are waste not, want not, waste not, want not kind of people. So it's like we don't want to do something and it be messed up. I'm yeah. the world's worst for that. I'm like, I'm, if I feel like I'm going to mess it up, I'm just like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Unless I call it a science experiment and then I'll do it all day long. And do it a bunch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yes. That was like, that reminds me of when we did the citrus strip tumblers. Uh huh. We did, oh my gosh, every tumbler you could imagine, we went through. Are you sure you want to cancel the cut? <sighs> yeah, I guess. Not sure. Chris. Not sure, but <laughs> sure, I guess. Okay. Sure, not sure. Now, let's, are we overhead, Sadie? Here is where you are going to be able to see the difference with the kiss cut and the regular or the and the easy peel okay so taking this off you can see that the easy peel it cut all the way through the backer because we had all those layers but our kiss cut stays on our sticker paper and this light grip might y'all She's yeah. new. She's she fresh. knows she is not light grip. Let's just talk <laughs> about it. Okay. That's why we pick our mats based on how they feel. Okay. Most of the so, time. So let's talk about kiss cut first. So if you wanted to do all kiss cut, this is what it's going to look like. You're going to be able to take all of this off and your stickers are going to stay on your backer. Okay. And like you can weed out if you have anything like this middle portion right here should come out. Just weed that out. And this is what a kiss cut sticker is. So this is a kiss cut sticker. Dang, this curling up is about to get on my nerves. <laughs> Let's cut this bottom portion off so, so, we can, see it. so we can see the difference. Have you seen where they use the heat press to hover over the HTV to uncurl it? Yes. I love that. I know. I bet you could do that with that. I don't know. Okay. Maybe. Let's let's show them all. Okay? Show them. Die cut stickers cut all the way through the backer, and you can they're not sticky. Here you go. Die cut stickers, kiss cut stickers stay on the backer, and the backer stays intact. And then here we have easy peel stickers so what this is oh no is it has cut through the back of your paper so they're individual stickers but watch we have what we'll do is we'll weed out this outside of the sticker this is why we were saying this is for people to consume your stickers because it's not really saving you any work, but it makes the stickers easier to peel for customers. So this is the easy peel stickers. Once again, this is for your customers, not for you. Yeah, I did not go with gravity. You're right, I should have done that. Okay, so this is the difference between our die cut stickers. The backer is not there. Like we have to kind of sit and work with it. Easy peel stickers, this portion is the backer, just right off, okay? So those are your three types of stickers. And yes, this is, this is the, if I, if I had to say one or the other, and I'm using those to, to hold that down for a minute. Um, probably the easy peel stickers is the best function of the um, create sticker stuff. But like I said, 
y'all can do it yourself and not have Cricut Access. Mm -hmm. I just taught you how to do that. Once again, I'm just cutting away, or I'm just peeling away the outside. That way we have the backer there and we have an easy peel sticker, y'all. Beautiful. Look at that. So, does anybody have any questions? I don't know, but everybody loves it. Everyone I love loves. the e I do love the easy peel stickers, especially like Alicia said, these are for like consumables, like if you're wanting mm -hmm. to sell your stickers. I mean, just adding those three offsets to that to give you a little bit of an extra, it just makes it so much, it looks- Presentable. It looks more presentable, it looks yeah. more professional, it makes it easier for your customers. It's, it is a game changer. It looks like we bought them. It doesn't look like we cut them with our Cricut, if that right. makes sense. Becky says, Easy Peel just changed the game for me. It is a game changer. It really is. Mm -hmm. And if you didn't, if we weren't, if we didn't teach you how to do that, you would think, oh my gosh, I have to get Cricut access yeah. so that I can do this. But you don't. Right. You don't. I it's love it. It's just so much easier.